to, when I first moved here, we only had CNN. So I would get all the DVDs from Sex and the City, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me that you have them. <laughs> okay, and what do we have here? These are all the times you've been in the Swiss news, yeah? That's, yeah. And I'm just slowly now putting together all the that's cool the German and the you look so different sometimes sure. I mean you can you can do the whole Amy Winehouse thing go sure. Marilyn Monroe and then this little sultry look here I know. Uh, I'm not sure what that but that's kind of like a, a little diva but what I love innocent. about that because it's a right wing newspaper yeah and then they got me on the cover and I'm not wearing a bra oh fine right. Like burn your bra, really a liberal thing. Um, yeah, and then my, since I'm an ambassador for AIDS Hilfe Schweiz, there's a big photo of me just naked wearing a ribbon, but they're doing that today, and it'll be ready for Thursday. I want my, I want to hang everything and get it nice for TV next Friday. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I, we can look forward to that. Yeah, uh, exactly. I used to be, um, I worked for the, Center for Torture Victims in Berlin when I lived there for many years and one of the torture victims from Kosovo did these two and I love them Groovy. Yeah, my favorite line is I'm a fortune cookie <laughs> <laughs> This is one of my favorite pictures. Look, you never see Henry Kissinger smile. Wow. Now, where are you with with Henry Kiss Kissinger? I'm in Berlin and it was for the 20-year um, Celebration of the wall coming down. Oh, okay. And Mikhail Gorbachev yeah, I mean, look how happy I he is Mikhail. too. I love Mikhail. Well, you've got you've got you've got a good look about you. That was me when I was West Texas. And and what year was that? Uh, nineteen ninety one. Nineteen ninety one. Find when I'm blonde and like that, you know, you have people think you're shy, innocent, dumb. When you're a redhead, people think you're conniving, a devil. They describe you in different adjectives. The yeah. rad pad. Yeah, with the rad pad. I feel like I'm in a, an episode of Cribs. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> have you ever been interviewed with an iPhone? No, but I mean, I, I have made a lot of movies on my iPhone, so yeah. I know it's possible. You know, they say that the um, the uh, the movies add another you know, film adds another ten pounds to you. Uh -huh. Yeah, but because this is an iPhone, I'm it's at thirty-five. Oh, it's only like an ounce. <laughs> it's a thing. Right. Where is your stream of income coming from? Is it from the fashion shoots, or is it from the magazine covers, or where? Uh, where? It's from mainly. It's from it's from TV, movies. Um, Are you still getting commission from your movie? Sure. Really? Sure. Okay. And I was in uh, a super famous lesbian genre film called It's in the Water that was filmed in Texas, also. And yeah, I still. Ah, yeah. right. No, I haven't seen that it's yet. It's a good one. Yeah? Yeah, it's a good one. Now, are you the lesbian in it? Uh, or no, you... I'm not. I play a society lady. I'm always typecast. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway, but it was a super fun movie. How did you get picked for that? I tried to, I auditioned. And where do you where do you get the audition for that? I was. Is there like a newsletter Kim that says? Kim Dawson. I don't know if you remember the agency Kim Dawson. It's the biggest agency in Dallas, Fort Worth, and probably Texas. All the big models go through there. But I'm not really a model. I mean, I'm short and kind of have this. You can turn it on. Jessica yeah. Rabbit figure yeah. instead yeah. of just you know um, thin and tall. But um, they had petite models, and then because I did the Miss Dallas, Miss Texas, all of that. Uh, I got signed with them, and I, I had done some television work with Walker, Texas Ranger, with Chuck Norris. Uh huh. And then that got around because I would appear on that show on and off. And Three achievements in your life that you consider, wow, those are the ones you still savor in those moments. Motherhood, where... my university education, and um, my growing up as a child and having no prejudice. I mean, I never heard the word um, nigger before I was in high school. Uh, I don't prejudge anybody or any situation. I'm okay. able to flow. All right. So um, motherhood is a big, big theme. I mean, you check out your website, you know, you see the uh, videos of... Uh, your time with with your kids. It, it, there's a constant theme of mm -hmm. what. Uh, even when I was calling, you were with the kids, and, and it, it's clear that takes the the highest priority, yeah, and that's what, that's a, that's what lights you up. 
So um, tell, tell us about that. When, when did I, that... I had a fantastic childhood, and I think, you know, children love to be with their parents, and the biggest thing a parent can do is spend time with their children, and so that's my number one how did How did that come about? How did you ha end up having kids? Um, well, I wanted them. Uh, I was in a marriage that wasn't so happy, so I thought that would save the marriage. Of course it didn't. It with who? Made... Who was that? Uh, the second husband. I had How many three, times have you married? Um, two. Okay. I, with my first husband, I was married for eight years, and we had three stepchildren. He had a wife that died of cancer. Now, what did he do? Oh, he w inherited all his money. He was one of the first billionaires in Texas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool and guy, Charlie Williams. Salmons. You guys still talk? Enterprise. All the time. Really? Okay. Thomas is the father of both? My two children. Of, uh -huh. Okay. And, and uh, you guys met uh, in 1996. 96. I have a really big, close family. I have two fathers, a real father, a stepfather who later on adopted me. Um, I have a great mother, a great stepmother, and I have two brothers and one sister. And they all have kids. So the challenge is going back and forth all the time and having that balance because um, my current husband doesn't have any living relatives at all. Zero. Nothing. So there's nothing to really teach the kids. And they're in American school right now. And I'd like to have them in public school just so they can get assimilated, mm -hmm. learn the language. I mean, we're staying here. How do you give a kid confidence? And you how know, do you give... I think you do it by demonstrating who you are and they see you. I mean, Saturday night when I got back to the hotel room, it was maybe 11.30 after the award ceremony and dinner, and my son was still up. And I said, okay, well, put on your jacket and come down with me and say hello to the former president. He knows your father. All right. And please let me introduce you to Jose. Okay. And Roman went right on down there, shook everyone's hand and said hello, and it was great. Okay. You know, I think children learn by what they see and what they're told to do, and they learn by example. The thing okay. that you're known for is... Not those three things. You're known for being uh, Miss Texas, um, and you know your appearance in, in a film and having your blog, and, and you've you've got a pretty. Uh, I mean, thousands. Every almost everybody in Switzerland that I've asked randomly just say, "Hey, you know, what do you what do you know?" Because I did a little research. They know you, sure. and they know you I, because of your, the publicity that you've had there. So. Um, do you rank that as an accomplishment, or no, is it? Not hmm? No. 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 Um, I became. You know, it was funny. I did the whole pageant because I needed to make money. I wanted to have the car. I wanted to win the fur coat so I could sell it and have the cash. <laughs> I was still trying to graduate from SMU, and it took a lot of money to pay. SMU, okay. Yeah, for those last 18 months that I went, I had all my credits at community college transferred to SMU. That was always my evil plan, and I just wanted to pay for SMU. Uh, well, wait, were you in a sorority? No. You how? Old. How? When did I graduated. You... Um, my degree. You'd be a great there. sorority girl. My degree is on the wall. Is it? Um, <laughs> but I think that was the year after I was Miss Dallas and Miss Texas. So, but then I could pay for it, which was great. And I could graduate. Your life has been a, 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 a large part about how beautiful you are. Sure. And you've, you've always been, I guess, applauded for that. And that's mm -hmm. given you a great amount platform. of latitude. Yeah, it's, sure. it's given you a platform. You can do a lot of things. You know, Isaac Miserati said uh, about young people, all they have to do is show up at the Academy Awards because they're young. <laughs> and they get photographed, and that's... For a large extent, how that worked with me, that's how I met people, because I was young and I was pretty and um, smart and tell a joke and make people laugh. Um, but I had to learn how to do that. I mean, it was all street smarts. Mm -hmm. uh, and I knew that I had this great opportunity with um, my outside appearance, with my inner combination of not having too much bullshit and street smarts and a university degree, if I could just tie it all together, I knew that I would have those pillars to have a successful future. Okay. You so get invited to these, there are a lot of beautiful people out there, but you are invited continually 
to these catwalks and if I build a catwalk, do I need to pay for you to come? Is that how it works or do it, does that? I think how I, I earn that, I mean, my clothing resides as a historical figure in the, the German Museum of History, also in the, the your, Swiss. Your what? Your clothing? My clothing. You have a clothing line? No. Everything that I wore, though, when I was in Germany, mm -hmm. the museum called and said we were going to put this for your 15 years or that 15 years of history in our museum so I am now in the museum of history I can imagine my clothing line that would be the worst clothing line ever well, it, wasn't <laughs> a clothing line. it was just what I wore I think they have three outfits an uh, outfit I wore to um, the Berlin Ollie with Bono a singer from U2 you met Bono yes all right and McGinnis his manager who's a barrel of monkeys. Um, they have a Vera Wang wedding gown of mine that was my second, my backup dress, because as a beauty pageant contestant, you always have a backup dress. Your source of income right now is uh, your husband, and... Well, no, it's my income, my I can get the money I brought into the marriage from my first husband. It was about three million dollars. Um, whatever Tom Why, why made, do you call it the I can get? It's called... In, German, it's called Eigengut. Wow, your vocabulary. Separate property. Now, and, and a Renenschaft is community property that you earn during the marriage. Okay. So what happened to me was that my husband planned, I had seen a divorce attorney after my daughter was born three years ago because I didn't want to be married to Tom anymore. And the man sent a bill to the house for 10,000 francs. So Tom opened it and said, oh, okay, she wants a divorce. So he started his strategic defense against that and how he who, who did Tom, 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 Tom did husband. yeah and so he filed for separation which is not divorce last year on Valentine's Day it served me the papers Great so timing. I was completely ambushed okay and he were you already, here when that happened yeah, or when? no he was in he, well I just flown back I was with my boyfriend um, I had just flown back from where were we Portugal or something or Spain Anyway, and he had taken the kids for a week holiday to, to a mountain resort somewhere. Um, so he left them on my desk. And I was just like, oh. Tom and I never had a relationship. I mean, obviously, Tom is known to millions of people for having his alleged affair with the naked model, Jamila Rova. Yeah, and at the time when he filed for separation, he also had a girlfriend who had his baby, ex-girlfriend now, in December, and his name is Jake, and he's darling. He's the cutest baby you ever did see. So that's With the who? little brother. With um, her name's Nina Vinegar. She's okay. lovely. All right. She owns the eyeglass distributor for all of her peoples and a lot of really good Zurich. Okay. And Zug. Anyway, so Jake was born in December, but they had split up, I mean, already six months before that. So wow. I was at the hospital when Jake was born. Wow. I paid for the the, the room. Um, yeah, I mean, this is the little brother of my Roman and my Ruby, my son and my daughter. So I've got to welcome him into the family. And because I come from my family's half brothers and half sisters, for me that's totally normal. Now this must have made the tap. I, I'm coming. I'm sorry. I'm coming with like <laughs> no information because I, I I just no, don't read didn't Swiss tabloids. Tab this is total tabloid stuff, though. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um, you guys, when, how long were you married with Tom? I was married to Tom in 1999. Well, and I'm still married. Okay, all right. Yeah. In Switzerland, you have a separation process that you go through. All right. And because we don't, he wants sole custody of the kids, and I would never agree to that. It's ridiculous. He's a full time businessman. Um, you know, I want joint custody. This is my boyfriend. Darling, let me call you right back. And I sold my house in Dallas to buy the house in Tallville, which is a giant big villa. And I redid the whole thing from top to bottom. It really is like War of the Roses. I mean, he, <laughs> he wanted everything in that house. He didn't let me take any of my personal items. Uh, it was a big drama. Okay. He even kept my china. And my silver that my It's the china gave me. that always hurts, isn't it? It's, it's the, the china, china that kills you. No, not for me because it's an old Versace pattern. And I'm over Versace. You know what I mean? But I'm just like, oh God, what kind of man? It's like you take the toothbrush holder. <laughs>